welcome to the course on design of power electronic converters. So, we were discussing electromagnetic interference and uh, we had started discussing EMI filters. So, now let us go further on that discussion. So, this is the example of EMI filter that I had shown you and I also showed you that uh, this uh, uh, is meant to filter out both your differential mode and common mode noise and uh, this is uh, using a pi structure of EMI filter that means you have got C, L and C. So, now let us see if we have uh, to uh, understand the uh, different terms of choosing an EMI filter um, how do we uh, look into it. So, if we draw this block diagram where uh, you have this EMI filter here in between and then on one side is the listen which is your line impedance stabilization network used to measure your common mode uh, emissions and on the other side we have the power electronic converter and on this side uh, is the supply which is the supply which is going to first enter and the job of the listen uh, will be that that it does not let any noise from the supply to enter over here and also any noise from this side to go to the supply side and so in between the measurement of the uh, co conducted em emissions can be done. So, now if we see this uh, filter, uh, this filter uh, when you look at it as a two port network, it will have an uh, output impedance and it also has an input impedance. The input impedance that is observed here when, when you stand on this side and uh, over here when you look from here what is the output impedance of the filter that you see. Now, this converter is the source of the interference. Now, so we can model this from the perspective of your source of uh, EMI and analysis of EMI. So, here you have this voltage source V source this power electronic converter can be replaced like a voltage source and uh, the source the impedance that the, the noise observe that is your Z source. So, now do not confuse it uh, uh, with your normal voltage supply that is placed here. We want to do uh, a modeling or you can say that is we want to make an equivalent circuit where uh, we want to analyze that uh, the uh, filter how effective it is going to be for the common mode and differential mode noise. So, for that uh, we are modeling here this converter as a source of those common mode and differential mode noise. So, this uh, V source is your common mode voltage and differential mode voltages the noise voltages. And then what is the impedance that uh, these noise that they observe because of the converter that is your Z source. So, this is the noise source impedance and then in between we have the filter which is supposed to attenuate these noise and then further on this side this listen can be looked upon like a load. So, it is like the filter load impedance Z load and this is going to be something known to you because we know that, that these are terminated for your 50 ohm resistances. So, uh, based on it if we want to choose the filter topology last lecture I had shown you different types of filter uh, topologies like you can just use a C, you can just use an L or you can use a pi network or a T network or a gamma network. Now, which is the filter network uh, that you should be choosing? So, uh, based on this uh, uh, diagram uh, you can understand that. So, what you can see is that, that this is a filter we do not want the noise to travel from this side to this side to this load side. So, that means we want mismatching of the impedances uh, this impedance of the source and the impedance that this filter provides 
and uh, whatever could be the load side impedance. So, that we want to do a mismatch. Now, here a listen is kept and you can say that that uh, I mean uh, you would uh, use 50 ohm as the load resistance, but when you practically use the converter you would not have the listen you will have the converter and then that is going to be uh, connected to a source. And so, uh, there will be some impedance observed by the this power electronic converter in the in my filter because of the source, the source impedance or this source impedance means whatever is the source I, I should rather do use the word voltage supply here or uh, it, it need not be always voltage supply. Uh, whatever is being used here in between your uh, I mean as a connection to the EMI filter and the power electronic converter that impedance I mean whose impedance will be the load impedance. So, then again we want a mismatch between this load impedance and uh, the EMI filters impedance. So, if there is mismatch that means the noise will not be able to propagate from the converter to this uh, to the supply side. So, accordingly from that perspective if we again look into the different types of filters then uh, uh, what we see is that let us say your converter uh, the way it uh, provides impedance to the source uh, to the noise sources is high impedance. So, it is a high source of high impedance and on the load side also you have high impedance. So, then we in between we want something which at high frequencies provide low impedances and so then we know that a capacitor can do that. And uh, if we have the positive, the source side is low impedance and uh, uh, your load side is also uh, low impedance, then we want something in between which gives high impedance for high frequencies and that will be inductor. So, now just L and C cannot do efficient filtering of your common mode and differential mode noise. Uh, most of the time uh, you will may be using a pi network or a T network for your filter. So, uh, uh, then here what we observe is that that if you want to use uh, uh, the other ones that is your gamma uh, type of filters, then uh, if we have high impedance on the source side, so then and a low impedance on the load side. So, towards the load side you can put the L uh, inductor and towards the source side you can put the C because C will provide the low impedance at high frequencies and L will provide high impedance at high frequencies. So, then you will have the mismatch so like that you can choose the C and L uh, uh, filter uh, topology. And for the opposite case when you have this low impedance uh, on the source, so you put a L towards the source and you have a high impedance on the load, so put a C towards the load. And you know that if you just have uh, two elements L and C you will have the uh, uh, I mean the impedance will decrease by 40 dB per decade okay for just for L or C it will be uh, um, your rising or for and falling by your 20 dB per decade. But for your L C type you will have 40 dB per decade as this um, as the change in the impedance with respect to frequency. Then uh, if we use this pi filter and the T filter which are the ones which are uh, very commonly used for your EMI filters. So, we will have this uh, if we have source as the high impedance so put a C on the source side and load side also if it is high impedance put C on the load side it, uh, and in between we can put an L. So, that is the pi type of uh, filter and here the impedance will be changing by 60 dB per decade uh, with respect to frequency. And uh, again if your source is low impedance and load is low impedance you can use T type where inductors will be on both sides and in between we can use a capacitor. So, this uh, gives you the first idea that how you can choose the, the uh, filter uh, type of what type of whether you want LC or a CL or a PI or a T, what is the type of filter that could be used 
for your converter. Now there is another term which is very important uh, with respect to MI filters and that is your insertion loss. So let us look into it what is insertion loss. So here this EMI filter is uh, uh, going to be analyzed as a two port network using the Z impedances. So you have this V1, V2 which is um, your input voltage and output voltage and I1, I2 are the, the input and output currents. So the impedances will be Z11, Z12, Z21 and Z22. And this is again drawn, the same thing is drawn without the AMI filter. So you have this V source and Z source which is repeated here and then you have this Z load. So there, there is no filter over here. So your insertion loss, this is defined as 20 log of V2 dash by V2. So as we see V2 dash is the voltage across this load when there was no filter and V2 is the voltage across the load when the filter is put. So the ratio of these two voltages in, um, and when you uh, take log uh, rhythm of it, log of it and you multiply by 20 so that is your insertion loss. And obviously, this is a logarithmic unit, so it, it will be in decibels. So now uh, let us uh, try to find out this insertion loss in terms of impedances. So your uh, V2 dash, this voltage, we can see that could be written as a V source, Z load by Z source plus Z load and uh, if we look into the two port network then we are using Z parameters and uh, you know that your Z11 is equal to V1 by I1 when I2 equal to 0, Z12 equal to V1 by I2 in I1 equal to 0, Z21 equal to V2 by I1 when I2 equal to 0 and Z22 equal to V2 by I2 when I1 equal to 0. So therefore, we can write your V1 equal to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2 and V2 equal to Z21 I1 plus Z22 I2. Further, what uh, we can write is that your I1 equal to V source minus V1 by Z source. You can see that here. I1 equal to V source minus V1 by Z source and I2 could be written as minus V2 by Z load. You write it from here using this. Now let us substitute these two in this equations, these two equations for I1 and I2. So what you will be getting is your V1 equal to Z11 V source minus V1 by Z source plus Z12 minus V2 by Z load and V2 equal to Z21 V source minus V1 by Z source plus Z12 
minus V2 by Z load. So, if we rearrange it, so what we will be getting is 1 plus Z11 Z source, this multiplied by V1 plus Z12 by Z load to V2, this is equal to Z11 Z source into V source and Z21 by Z source into V1 plus 1 plus Z12 by Z load into V2, this is equal to Z21 by Z source into V source. These are the two equations that we will be obtaining if we rearrange it. Further from here, if you solve for V2, what you will be getting? V2 equal to Z21, Z load by minus Z12, Z21 plus Z source plus Z11 into Z load plus Z22 multiplied by V source. So, therefore, your insertion loss I L this now will be equal to 20 log of we substitute for both V2 dash and V2. So, Z load by Z load plus Z source into V source by your Z21 Z load and divided by minus Z12 Z21 plus Z source plus Z11 into Z load plus Z22 So, therefore, from this what you obtain your insertion loss as equal to in terms of the impedances it will be 20 log of Z source plus Z11 into Z load plus Z22 minus of Z12 into Z21 by Z21 into Z load plus Z source. This is what you will be obtaining. So, using this equation you can obtain the insertion loss that uh, uh, will be there for the filter that you had chosen for uh, filtering the noise, the common mode and differential mode noise for the power electronic converter. Then, so, now what you see is that you should have an idea of the Z source and Z load when usually these keep on changing in power electronic converters, it is not uh, fixed and uh, so that is where the challenge comes up in your uh, choosing AMI filters for power electronic converters. Uh, but this uh, insertion loss is the term which is used for uh, finding out whether a particular filter is uh, going to be suitable for the converter that you are designing. Now, there are different manufacturers of EMI filters. One is of course, uh, you can design it on your own. You can buy common mode chokes, X and Y capacitors. You can decide their values and then you can put it on the board on the power electronic converter board that you are uh, uh, designing yourself. So, that is one way that also is done uh, by many uh, designers of power electronic converters. 
and at the same time there are manufacturers of EMI filters also. So, these type of uh, EMI filters of the shelf EMI filters that you can buy um, uh, from the manufacturers and they uh, make some standard uh, values, uh, I mean the, they design values which can be suited for many applications for or, or rather for a range of applications. So, here uh, you see that this is a single phase uh, EMI filter and this is actually a three phase uh, EMI filter and this is also another uh, EMI filter that is designed. So, these have all these LC common mode chokes and uh, uh, your damping resistors, damping capacitors all that will be inside them. You just have to get it and uh, insert it uh, with your converter to um, to meet the EMC standards and then you can decide that if the particular EM, uh, EMI filter is not working for you, you can buy another one and you can uh, check with that if that one works for your particular converter. And those manufacturers they also provide uh, these kind of uh, graphs. So, these are attenuation diagram or what you can call it as the insertion loss diagram. So, you can see that the, the decibels uh, of the insertion loss or the attenuation is provided and the frequency is also provided. So, using it you can see that that uh, uh, what is the attenuation that will be provided attenuation of the insertion loss these are many times used interchangeably. Insertion loss also what it means is that basically how much is the loss that is happening for that frequency and the greater it is happening. So, that means better way it will be filtering out those particular uh, frequency components. So, an attenuation is also same thing means uh, how much you are attenuating a particular signal. So, uh, more the attenuation of a particular frequency that means better is the filtering for that frequency. And so, these uh, uh, insertion loss graphs can be used and you can also use those kind of equations to do some calculations and check that which type of EMI filter is going to best uh, suit your purpose. So, the key points of uh, this uh, lecture are that, uh, that uh, for filtering we have to do impedance mismatch between source and load. Uh, there are various different types of uh, um, um, filter topologies uh, that are there and you can choose uh, the one which is going to suit for you. And uh, for uh, filters there is one very important term which is your insertion loss. So, you have to look into the insertion loss for choosing your filter. Thank you.